Good morning, my wonderful friends. Megas with you on a beautiful day in Asha. And today's message is a name that moves mountains located inside of you is a name, is a force, is an energy that can move any obstacle. And at the end of this short message, I'm going to give you that name. Now, as I'm saying this, I'm picturing a lot of you scrolling ahead to the end of this video. And you know what? That's okay. That's what I love about you guys. You get stuff done. Uh, but I want to share a story with you that I heard, uh, and it's a true story. It was about a kid, and he went to his guidance counselor in high school, and uh, his grades weren't real good and a uh, little socially awkward. And the guidance counselor basically told him, uh, you're not very smart, and uh, just look for uh, just a menial, uh, basic job. And that's what he did. And he worked at a, a factory for many, many years until it closed. And then he had to go look for another job. And he went to a, another factory. And to get a job there, you had to take an IQ test. He scored in the genius level. And they said not in 60 years of their business had they ever seen a score that high. And they gave him a, a high position to use that knowledge. And he ended up uh, becoming an inventor and got many patents and was very successful. Uh, and, and what got me thinking about that was it was his idea and image that he held of himself. He let that guidance counselor speak over him that, that he wasn't very smart and he believed it. So the guidance counselor gave him a name and he received it. But then he took that test and another man gave him another name, Genius, and he received it. Uh, what name are you receiving? Maybe someone's spoken over you negative. Maybe someone's spoken a lie over you. You don't have to receive it. And my friends, I, I want you to understand that your true name, your true image is good, is smart, is wise, is powerful. And you're not your past mistakes. And here's what I want you to understand. So that kid, he believed it because there was evidence to show that the guidance counselor was right, right? He, he got bad grades. He was socially awkward. My friends, but you got to realize that's not who you are. Are deep inside of you, my friends. You come from good spirit. You're made of good spirit. You have infinite wisdom inside of your heart of hearts. You have infinite power inside your heart of hearts. And we need to start drawing from that image, from that name, and creating from that place, not from, not from your performance, not things that you've done, failures in the past. We all have those, my friends. We've all made mistakes. And I'll tell you something I've learned after 50 years on this planet uh, that's helped me the most is what they call repent. Don't try to cover up your mistakes. Don't try to just look good, smell good to the outside world. Get your inside cleaned up the best you can for you. If you make a mistake, own up to it and say, Do you know what, God, I'm sorry. I blew it here. I realized that. And don't hate yourself for it. Don't shame yourself for it. There's things passed in your very DNA from your parents, such as addictions and perversions and anger issues. And my friends, but we can overcome that. And science is showing that today, isn't it? We can rewire our neural pathways. We can change our very DNA. What are we changing it to? Back to the original set point, my friends. We come from God. We're made of God. And there's names hidden inside of you. And we need to start speaking and using the power of those, such as, I am successful. I am blessed. I am wise. I am smart. I, I can do anything because Almighty God is inside of me. And let this blow your mind. You are inside of God. You are one my friends, and when you can start to fully understand a lot of these spiritual ideas and teachings, not, not just in a head level, but a heart level, you start changing the world. There's a name inside of you for every problem you come up against. Everything that seems like a barrier, there's a name written inside of you. Do you know what true magic is? It's telling the truth in every situation. It's speaking that I am divine health. And sickness and disease can't live in here. That's the highest truth. Viruses die when they even touch my skin. When they even come within three feet of me, viruses shrivel up 
and die. My friends, we start speaking that highest truth and there's magic in it because there's power in a name. And you have many names, my friends. You've heard of the names of God. You have names. And, and here's the thing. Your names are God's names because you come from God and you're made of God. And you can start speaking from those places. You can start saying that I am divine life and death cannot enter. I am rich and wealthy and, and successful in every possible way. And we start creating from that place. Well, just uh, to use myself for example, uh, my friends, I wasn't considered really smart in school. <laughs> I could go on about that. But, uh, but my friends, I, I started doing these things that as I got older called symposiums. And I would bring in the wisest of the wise in their field from college professors, uh, preachers, people that are at the top of their field, doctors. And we'd sit down and we'd discuss. Uh, and my friends, I, I, I'm not bragging on myself, uh, but I was, by the end of that, and people were watching, it, it was like I was talking to three-year-olds by the time we got done. And I wasn't doing it to shame them, but I was showing, trying to show them the highest way of thinking, which we call Asha. And my friends, I brought a lot of friends with me. I'll give you some examples here, because this will change your life right here. If you can start doing this, I'm sitting in front of my bookshelf here, David Bohm, Quantum theory. So when I was talking to a scientist, I brought my friend David with me. And so my friends, I had all this wisdom from this man. Uh, if I was talking uh, to a preacher, uh, I brought the Bible. And my friends, I went to Bible college, so I know this book inside out more than most preachers. And I've read every commentary on every book inside the Bible. And, and, and so I was able to break it down and, and then think a little higher. I brought along with me uh, uh, Plato and Socrates. Uh, you know, if I was talking Islam with someone, I got a stack of books this big on Islam. And, and, and so I was bringing the wisdom of these other uh, people that have gone before me. And then I was using that innate wisdom that came inside of me where I'm flowing. I'm letting spirit flow through me. And, and that wisdom that's innate inside of me, I was using that name. I am wisdom. Now, now, if you talk to my old school teachers or my old school chums, they'd tell you he's not the smartest guy around, you know. But when, when I'm tapping into that infinite wisdom, my true name, not my past, not my mistakes, not my failures, uh, but I'm tapping into that true name, I, I started having power and wisdom in that. In every circumstance you cover in this life, you have a name written inside of you. But the name above all names is what the Christ taught, that you and God are one. My friends, you are divine life. You are divine health. You are divine wisdom. You are divine peace, no matter what's going on around you. You're, you're divine joy, and you don't have to put on a fake smile, my friends. And, and it, it's what you are, and you vibrate that, and you, you, you radiate that, and you create that in your atmosphere and in your world. Asha 14 says, I am in, I am. Think about that for one minute. I am in I am. I am is in me. Oneness, my friends. I live in God. What is God? Zoroastrianism teaches God is good. Good and God are the same thing. God is omnipresent. God is everywhere. Not just outside of you, inside of you. That means that my good is omnipresent. If God is outside of you, inside of you, God is omnipresent. That means that my good is here now because my God is here now. When you can wrap your mind around that at a heart of heart level, it changes everything because you discover your name, your word, your vibration, and you start creating out of that place. And my friend's spirit will guide you and direct you by that fravashi inside of you. He'll bring divine appointments. He'll bring the right book for the right conversation before you even have it. And you'll be able to draw upon that, my friends. You can change not only your life, but you're going to start changing the lives around you. You're going to start changing the world. Start to speak from that name inside of you. Quit speaking the lies that have been spoken over you. Don't speak from those names. Don't say you're a failure. Don't say you're no good. Don't say you're not very smart. Start speaking the highest truth, my friends. Asha by Winston Head. This is a must-have book. It is so small, but it is so powerful. You're going to discover your name in this book. It's available at Amazon. And do me a favor, guys. Every one of you that gets this, 
leave a review, please. And my friends, this book sells almost every day I go and check, and these books are flying off the shelves. This is our best-selling book ever, and every $2 from this book goes to charity. And so that's what I love to do, and I love giving money to charity because I feel like not only are we changing hearts and minds, but, but we're putting food in people's bellies. We're, we're giving them warmth. We're, we're doing something in the physical. So I like to meet them on a spiritual level and on the physical level. My friends, we are doing something here. And I'm not just talking YouTube. Our YouTube is growing like crazy. Oh my God. Hey, look at some of our last videos. We've never had growth like this before. Thousands and thousands of people getting this message. But on all of our different uh, platforms, my friends, uh, from book sales, of course, from, from Instagram, from Facebook, thousands and thousands of people are getting this message of Asha. And do you know what's beautiful, guys? You are part of something amazing. Zoroastrianism was going away, right? We talked about this many years ago. It was down to 200,000. I don't even know how many we've added now. It's getting ridiculous. So people tell me, yes, Megas, I receive the perfect creator's perfect idea. I receive Asha. I receive the true image of who God is, my friends. And so I'd like to leave you with this message if you're new to us. The message of the Magi is that God is all good. He's been misrepresented as hating, warring, killing, doing evil spirit attributes, and that's impossible. Good cannot do bad. So we restore his image to all good. And do you know what? By doing that, we restore our image because now we're aligning with that perfect idea of the perfect creator. We're realizing he's all love, peace, joy, kindness, goodness. And that's who we are in truth. That's our name also. And when we start to create from that name, we create Asha, heaven on earth. It's so beautiful and so simple. And you guys are a part of something amazing. And guys, please, for me, I know I say this a lot, but it's important to me. Do this for me. I know thousands of you have Asha, go to Amazon, go to Goodreads, go to wherever you buy your books and leave a review. It just takes a minute and you're doing a good thing, my friends, because people read the reviews before they buy a book and every one of you can be a part of this. Be a part of what we're doing here. And you can do it that way. So pray for your brothers and sisters that they start discovering their name and speaking out of it. And that's how we're going to change this world. And you know what? There's power. When you pray for someone else, you're now in resonance for those good things to come upon you. Oh, guys, I'm so excited about what's happening. I hope you are too. I know you are. I love you so much. We'll see you next time.